How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also, please do me the biggest favor of all. Hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. Also, if you guys would please head over to Twitch. Follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week whether it's for Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, Destiny 2, or anything else you guys suggest for me to stream over there. And as always, if you guys have any movies or shows you guys want me to watch and review here on the channel, please let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, we're going to be talking about positives and negatives, talking about the brand new DC comic animated movie Injustice that came out here in 2021. And it is rated R. Uh, you guys can get this movie digitally uh, through like Google Play and other physical, I'm sorry, other digital outlets. And there are physical copies available, so you guys can get this on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K if you guys so desire. And this, of course, Injustice film is based off of the games and the graphic novels and i've played the first injustice game and i've played the second injustice game both when they released but i remember very very little about what actually transpires in the games because i played through the campaigns once i'm not that big of you know ranked and the whole fighting video game concept. It's never been something that's ever appealed to me, but I played through the campaigns once, and I had a fun time doing that. But, um, that's been years and years and years ago. And even with my limited knowledge, this film feels bad. I, I, I can't escape this word. It's a bad movie. And it feels rushed. This movie is only 78 minutes long. That is right. They crammed an Injustice storyline that is six books long. They crammed six books worth of information and characters and plots and twists and turns and revelations into a 78 minute movie. This film, even with my limited knowledge, not only feels rushed, but it's missing several key moments. This should have been a three, maybe even a five or six hour epic. I feel like this should have been like two movies. It should have been divided into two parts, each like three, maybe three hours long. Because this would allow for a lot of the characters and a lot of the plots to properly happen. Everything is just rushed. Like, we're going to this place, we're doing this event, we're going to introduce these characters, we're going to kill off these characters, we got to do a jailbreak scene that's underwater, we need to kill off this character, that character needs to die, let's introduce this new thing, Superman's now evil, everything's just going zigzaggity for 78 minutes. Now, can you properly follow the story even though everything feels rushed and things are missing? Yes. But you can clearly tell with the editing work that there is tons and tons of things that are just missing. Even the ending just feels kind of abrupt. Like it just ends and you're like, well, I guess all these things were going to happen, but we need to cut this movie to be half this long. <sighs> I don't understand why they did that. If you guys don't know what Injustice is about, I'll give you a plot summary very quick. It tells the what-if scenario of what would happen if Superman gets tricked by the Joker and kills Lois Lane and uh, Superman and Lois' Lane unborn child. Of course, this sparks the Injustice story arc where the Justice League splits in half. We have Superman becoming an evil tyrant, and it leads to a Batman versus Superman faction war where the superheroes of the Justice League get split in half and so you have these two superhero like factions fighting each other among the world. I guess the best way to explain it would be uh, Marvel's Captain America Civil War but on a much larger scale because this film deals with the multiverse as well. Uh, the animation quality of this film is okay but nothing unfortunately stands out as amazing. The voice acting is good enough for what needs to be said and done in the film, no pun intended. Uh, like I said earlier, the film is rated R because of some language. There's a lot of violence and a lot of animated blood, so do keep that in mind. I thought the action and the fight scenes that were in this film, even though very limited, were great. And overall, I think this is a great movie to watch at least once. 
if you've read the games, I'm sorry, if you've read the novels and you've played the games, I think, you know, watching this movie once is going to be cool. I would strongly advise, though, to wait to rent this movie because at the time we were recording this video, you can only buy it, you can't rent it. And I think $20 to buy this movie, average, is kind of high considering it's only a 78 minute movie. I just feel like they really missed the ball on this film. This should have been a three to six hour epic movie to properly tell the story of the characters and the plots and make it where everything is coherent and things aren't missing and not rushed. So with that, guys, I'm going to give Injustice from 2021 a 5 out of 10. Watch it once if you guys are interested, but it's something, unfortunately, that's going to be very easily forgettable. So 5 out of 10 for Injustice. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. I'll see you guys next video or stream. Bye, guys.